Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that involves training artificial neural networks to perform a wide range of tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and decision making. It is based on the structure and function of the human brain and is inspired by the way neurons process information. Deep learning models are composed of multiple layers of artificial neurons called layers. Each layer processes the input data and passes it to the next layer, allowing the model to learn increasingly complex features of the data. The layers at the beginning of the network are called the input layers, and the layers at the end of the network are called the output layers. The layers in between are called hidden layers. There are several types of deep learning models, such as feedforward neural networks. This type of model is composed of layers of artificial neurons that are connected in a directed acyclic graph DAG, structure. The data flows through the network in a single direction, from the input layer to the output layer. Convolutional Neural Networks CNNs. This type of model is used to process image and video data. It is composed of layers of artificial neurons that are connected in a way that is inspired by the way the visual system processes information. Recurrent Neural Networks RNNs. This type of model is used to process sequential data, such as time series data or natural language text. It is composed of layers of artificial neurons that are connected in a way that allows the model to maintain a kind of memory of the previous inputs. Deep learning models are trained using a variant of stochastic gradient descent SGD, called backpropagation. Backpropagation is an algorithm that adjusts the weights of the network in order to minimize the error between the model's predictions and the true values. Deep learning is widely used in many applications such as image classification, recognizing objects, animals, and scenes in images. Natural language processing, NLP, processing and analyzing text, such as language translation, sentiment analysis, and text summarization. Speech recognition, converting speech to text. Recommender systems, recommending products, videos, or music to users based on their past behavior and preferences. Self-driving cars, robotics, and other applications that require decision-making. Overall, Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that involves training artificial neural networks to perform a wide range of tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and decision making. It is based on the structure and function of the human brain and is inspired by the way neurons process information. It has been widely used in many applications and has been shown to achieve state-of-the-art performance in many tasks. A data science project typically follows a structured workflow, which includes several stages such as Problem definition. Identifying the problem that needs to be solved and defining the objectives of the project. Data collection. Gathering the necessary data for the project. This includes identifying the sources of data and collecting the data from those sources. Data cleaning and pre-processing. Preparing the data for analysis. This includes cleaning the data to remove any errors, inconsistencies, or missing values. It also includes pre-processing the data to format it in a way that is appropriate for the analysis. Exploratory Data Analysis EDA, Analyzing the data to gain a better understanding of the data and identify patterns, trends, and relationships. This stage includes visualizing the data and using descriptive statistics. Feature Engineering Creating new features or transforming the existing features to improve the performance of the model. Modeling building, training and evaluating the models using the data. This stage includes selecting the appropriate model and fine-tuning its hyperparameters. Model Evaluation Evaluating the performance of the model using different evaluation metrics and comparing it with other models. Deployment Deploying the model into a production environment where it can be used to make predictions on new data. Model Maintenance Monitoring the model's performance, updating it as needed and retraining it as new data becomes available. This workflow is not necessarily linear and might be iterative, some steps may be skipped depending on the complexity and size of the project, and new steps might be added. The goal of the workflow is to structure the project in a way that makes it easier to understand, replicate, and interpret the results. It also helps to ensure that the project is completed on time and within budget. There are a wide variety of tools and platforms available for data science, depending on the specific task or application. Some of the most commonly used tools and platforms include Programming languages Python and R are the most popular programming languages for data science, due to their extensive libraries and frameworks for data manipulation, analysis, and visualization. Data manipulation and cleaning tools 
tools such as Pandas, NumPy, and DPLYR are widely used for data manipulation and cleaning. These tools provide powerful data structures and functions for working with and cleaning large amounts of data. Data Visualization Tools Tools such as Matplotlib, Seaburn, and ggplot are used to create visualizations of the data, such as plots, charts, and maps. Machine Learning Libraries Libraries such as Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch are used for building and training machine learning models. Cloud Platforms Cloud platforms such as AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud provide a wide range of services for data science, including data storage, computing power, and machine learning services. Notebook Environments Jupyter Notebook, RStudio and Google Colab are popular notebook environments used for data science. These environments provide a user-friendly interface for writing and running code, as well as for visualizing and sharing results. Data storage and management. Tools such as SQL, NoSQL databases, and distributed data storage systems like Hadoop, Spark are used for storing, managing and querying large datasets. Data pipeline and workflow management tools such as Apache NiFi, Apache Airflow, and Prefect allows to automate and manage the data pipeline schedule and monitor the workflows, and facilitate collaboration between data scientists. Big data platforms like Hadoop, Spark, and Storm are also used for processing and analyzing large amounts of data. Deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch are used for building complex neural network models for advanced tasks like image recognition, natural language processing, and speech recognition. Business intelligence tools like Tableau, ClickView, and Power BI are used for creating interactive visualizations and dashboards for data analysis and reporting. Model deployment and management tools like MLflow, TensorFlow Serving, and Selden allow data scientists to deploy and manage their models in production environments. Communication and collaboration tools like Slack, GitHub, and Asana are used to facilitate communication and collaboration among data scientists, engineers, and other stakeholders. These are just a few examples of the many tools and platforms available for data science, and the best choice of tool or platform will depend on the specific needs of the project and the expertise of the data science team. Ethical considerations in data science are the moral principles that guide the collection, use, and dissemination of data. As data science becomes more prevalent in decision-making, it is important to ensure that the data and the analysis are used in ways that are fair, transparent, and accountable. Some of the key ethical considerations in data science include Privacy Data science projects often involve the collection and analysis of personal data, which can raise concerns about privacy. It's important to ensure that data is collected and used in ways that respect individuals' privacy rights, and that any data that is shared or published is anonymized to protect people's identities. Fairness Data science can be used to make predictions and decisions that can have a significant impact on people's lives. It's important to ensure that these predictions and decisions are fair and unbiased, and that they don't discriminate against certain groups of people. Transparency. Data science projects should be transparent about the methods and techniques used, as well as the assumptions and limitations of the analysis. This helps to ensure that the results of the analysis can be understood and trusted. Explainability. With the increasing usage of complex models like deep learning, it is becoming hard to interpret the results and explain it to the stakeholders. It is important to ensure that the models are interpretable and the results are explainable. Accountability. Data science projects should be accountable for the results of the analysis, and be prepared to explain how the data and analysis were used to make decisions or predictions. Data governance. Data science projects should be in compliance with data governance regulations and policies, such as GDPR and HIPAA. Ethical use of AI. With the increasing usage of AI, it is important to consider the ethical implications of the models and ensure that they are aligned with the values of the society. Ensuring that data science projects are conducted ethically is important for maintaining trust in the results and ensuring that the benefits of data science are shared fairly. In summary, data science is a multidisciplinary field that uses techniques from statistics, computer science, and domain knowledge to extract insights and knowledge from data. The data science workflow typically includes stages such as problem definition, data collection, data cleaning and pre-processing, exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, modeling, model evaluation, deployment, and model maintenance.